I'm Katie Ullman reporting for Katie Chats at Smitty TV in downtown Toronto. I'm here with filmmaker Lana Chacal. How did you get inspired to make your film Unspoken Words? Well, it's a documentary on kids being bullied and also adults being bullied, not just in school, but also in the workplace. Mm -hmm. um, I have been bullied myself for many years, uh, pretty much every day between kindergarten and my graduating day in high school, all throughout elementary school and high school and even further on. Um, many times over, I everything from being pushed down the stairs to the way that I looked to uh, things that I said, uh, I was very much uh, a victim of bullying in school. So um, I have taken a lot of acting classes uh, in theater and for film. And I kind of wanted to intertwine my experience and my training in, in acting along with my experience of what I went through being a victim of, of, of bullying. So are you, tell me a little bit about your process. I know you're sort of in the pre-stages of the film now, but tell me a little bit about how you're going to go into schools and what you're going to be capturing in the film. Uh, sure. Um, well, I just finished getting my teaching degree mm -hmm. to teach English as a second language, well, which will actually allow me to teach uh, anywhere in North America, um, also overseas. So I'll be able to have access to pretty much any school that, um, that I choose. Mm -hmm. um, so that'll give me the opportunity to work with kids and students and adults firsthand. Um, but I'm going to be really not just targeting schools, but also workplaces because I want to um, I want to document bullying not just in schools, but also uh, in the workplace and in offices. And, and what types of bullying do you think is most prominent in workplaces today? A lot of racial discrimination, from what I've heard, from what I've seen, and from what I've studied. Um, I've been speaking to lots of different people of nationalities um, and especially in Montreal where I'm from um, where a lot of people they come from India they come from Africa they come from all parts of the world and I've heard so many stories horror stories even where uh, they're just trying to survive and make it in a new culture new environment uh, they're learning a new language and they're being not treated equally. Um, they're being um, treated less than what they should be, and uh, it's, it's not right at all. So what I want to use with Unspoken Words, my documentary, is I want to expose um, not only bullying in schools, but also in the workplace, and that bullying not only um, happens to kids and teens, but that it even happens well into adulthood. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know myself, uh, uh, even I was working on a film set when I was 26 years old, um, and I was being teased by the cast and crew just from the way that I looked. Mm -hmm. and, so. and can you tell me a little bit about the title that you chose, Unspoken Words, what that represents? Yes, the title Unspoken Words is a, basically a representation for everybody that wants to say something but they're too afraid to speak their mind. Um, everybody who's been a victim, not only being bu from bullying but uh, racial discrimination, so many people uh, these days are afraid to be who they are. They're afraid to speak their minds. They're um, they're afraid, uh, if you look, uh, I mean, uh, even in the subway or in the public, people are just into their phones, uh, texting, calling, they're, they're afraid to, to speak, uh, what they, they're afraid to say what they want to say. And so I'm hoping that my documentary on spoken words will alleviate this pressure, will show people that it's okay to be who you are, that and, and to per perhaps figure out tools and ways to um, defend themselves against discrimination or against being bullied. And where's the best place for us to find out more information on you and on the project online? 
Okay, um, it's still in pre-production. Um, I'm going to be working with schools this coming fall in September when most of the schools open. Um, but people can contact me on my Facebook page, which is Nala Kali. Mm -hmm. It's spelled N-A-L-A. -A. Kali is K-A-L-I-E. Mm -hmm. Nala Kali. Uh, it's a long story how I got that. It's more of my stage name, actually, Nala Kali. Mm -hmm. Um, they can Google Lana Chacal, um, Lana L A N A Chacal C H A C K A L, and they can also send me an email at hi Lana forty five at hotmail dot com, H I L A N A forty five at hotmail dot com. So I'm hoping to um, work with more people. Um, anybody who's interested in the project or who has any interest or who has been a victim of discrimination or being bullied is more than welcome to contact me. And I'm hoping that unspoken words can really reach out to a lot of people and make a difference in the world of discrimination and bullying and for anybody who wants to say something but is too afraid to and, and anybody who's hurting inside and wants to, um, wants to, stop, the, wants to stop the hurt. Well, thank you so much. Congratulations, and best of luck with your project. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. Thank you. I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats in downtown Toronto.